today. In this particular playlist, we're looking at solving linear equations, in other words, finding the value of x. Now, you'll see on this particular one, on the left-hand side, we've got a value of x there, and on the right-hand side, we've got a value of x there, and we need to find out what those values are. So the first thing is, we've got to get rid of this denominator of 3, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Because if I do that, it means I can lose this denominator, and on the right-hand side, I end up with 18 minus x. On the left-hand side, you need to remember this 3 multiplies both of these terms, and sometimes it's just a little easier to remember to write 3 times 5x minus 10, and that will kind of remind you then that you're multiplying both terms out. So let's just do that. We've got 3 times 5x is 15x, and then 3 times minus 10, well that's going to be minus 30, and that equals 18 minus x. So it's looking a little bit easier now, and really the challenge is to get the values of x on one side of the equation and the numbers on the other. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got this minus x. Don't like minuses, need to get rid of them, so I'm going to add x to that side, and again that will cancel itself out, but I need to do it to this side as well. So therefore on the left hand side I end up with 16x minus 30 equals 18. Okay, and then I've got minus 30. Don't want that there. I'm going to get rid of it by adding 30 to both sides. And if I do, it means this bit cancels out. I end up with 16x equals 18 plus 30, and that's going to be 48. Okay, now again, should give you a little bit of comfort at this particular point, a bit more... Uh, bit easier to, to deal with, the, the arithmetic itself means that if I divide through by 16 to both sides, then I'm going to get a whole number. Now, however you do that, you might do that in a calculator or do it by a bit of long division, um, but basically the value of x then is 4, and that will answer this particular question. What you'll normally find is the values at the end will usually be a whole number or a relatively straightforward fraction. I hope that's okay for you. This is, uh, I think, the second video in this particular playlist. Please do add a comment below. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.